Yo, yo, Share the Sauce Podcast, we out here, Share the Sauce, episode number two, out here with my partner, Miss Jazzy J. Hey. Jay, what's going on with y'all? How you feeling? How you feeling? Everything is good, everything is good. We blessed, man. I feel good having you in here, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad you could make it. Absolutely. For I sure. appreciate y'all having me. For yeah, sure. yeah. The All voice right, of Phoenix. The voice of Phoenix. What's going on? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to let them know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to give it to them. That's right on. That's right on. I got so many interviews lined up, and it's like everybody from Atlanta, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, you know what I'm saying? Florida, you feel me? I ain't got nobody in Arizona, and we stationed here. This is where I'm at. Share the sauce. Home share the sauce. Phoenix, Arizona, man. Stand up. Y'all know where we at now. From the A to the A. Z. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Jazz Z. Okay. Tell them, man. A Z. Jazz Z. You feel me? So I had to get a young boy out here. You feel me? Somebody who was going to come. Somebody really got them bars. Somebody rapping. Who out here making music? Who believe in their music? You feel me? And you know, we believe in the youth. I'm fucking with all the young folks. You know what I'm saying? And just because you're not young by age, but shit, young to the game, new to the game, new faces, underground, like. I'm fucking with y'all, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to come up here like have a home type shit, you feel me? Or play for real music, you promote your music, and get to know you for who you is, you feel me? Because a lot of time you hear a bop, you be like, that shit rocking, you don't know who the fuck that is, you feel me? So I'm trying to put some names and faces to these bops, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of bops, how long you been making music? Man, I've been making music since I want to say four years old so I started out singing right Word. and then I developed a passion for rap so I wrote my first rap song at age nine and we were sitting down in the living room and I'm like okay okay and I'm just singing like my melodies my tunes just much quicker than what it is and I was like that's what I'm going with that's what it is right there I'm a rapper. <laughs> I mean I love to be called an artist because yeah. you know, I'm gonna intertwine everything for sure. but definitely rap is just I just have a love for hip-hop and just you know, the way they just, metaphors, just, you know, like I said earlier, like, I love battle rap. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, the way they, exactly, the way they put it together, I'm like, ooh, wait, like, that is artistic right there. Okay, okay. So it's lovely, absolutely. So, like, you knew what, what hip-hop was? Like, did you already, did you have an influence? Like, at a young age, you already knew what hip-hop was? Or was it like, damn, I'm doing hip-hop? Like, just, something? yeah, just music all around. Like, just sure. the music we grew up listening to. Yeah. Like, my dad's from Brooklyn. Right. So, you know, it's, he was boxing and then, like, you know, he went to school with MC Light. What? So it's like it was already like in the family. Yeah. Type, and I just took it and ran with it. Oh, snap. So your pops was a boxer? Yeah. Oh, well, that's hard. That's boxer hard. back home, you know, before he did what he did. He got locked up. And, you know. Yeah. It is what it is. But yeah. yeah, yeah he, he was say that right now. Definitely a boxer, though. Yeah. So. I done been enough. Shut up. Dang, that's hard. I heard you in the battle rap, too. So, um, who your favorite battle rapper? Who you like? Man, number one favorite battle rapper is Charlie Clips. What Clips? I fuck with Clips. Shout out okay. to Clips, man. Clips, yeah, we need you out here, man. Clips. Shout out to Clips. Um, Arsenal, so disrespectful. Okay. Like I said. Turn up, turn up. Shout out to the rebel. He be very disrespectful with it too. I be like, oh. Yeah. But he be, he be clean though. He be so clean, so I'm like, man, you can't even be mad at him. For sure, for sure. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Arsenal is a goat. We had him out here. Y'all ain't seen that. Check that out. You feel me? Check that podcast out. If you don't go rewind and find, you feel me? It's something to find, goddamn. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, bro, going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro is like a lyrical goat. You feel me? I appreciate bro coming. You feel me? For real, like he dropped so much sauce on the podcast. Like so much sauce. So much sauce. You feel me? He told everything from things when he was different battles. Like you know what I'm saying, his favorite battles where he went over the line. You feel me? Like. Mm. We got a good podcast. He even drops a sauce for future battle rappers. So if you know you're trying to be a battle rapper, you need to watch that podcast, man. What you got going? Okay. Feel me? Absolutely. Calico. I also watch uh, Queen Queen of the Ring. You like Queen of the Ring? Who you like the girls? Who you like the girls? I'm gonna have to go with Misfit. Misfit? Uh, oh, Miss Official. Official. I like jazz. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Jazz. jazz. She I, cool. I, jazz I fuck with jazz. jazz. Niggas be sleep on jazz because they like she ain't even rapping recently, but jazz been going crazy. She like 16. Yeah. Like she been in there and what's her the other girl's name? Tony. Like, yeah, she, yeah. The short, the short skinny girl. She be going crazy. For so. sure, for sure. Yeah. But official be, be fucking everybody up. Like I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? And she got that. 
Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. She, I said okay. Official like, dog. Right. Well, fun fact: I actually was at officials' first like official battle. Officials' first official battle. You feel me? In the A. You feel me? Um, that nigga Arsenal put that shit on, and I don't know if he, if he put it on or if he was partners with somebody, but they put a battle on and she battled some nigga. And when I tell you they had the battle of the night, she ate this nigga. I'm talking my buddy was straight, but she was chewing this nigga face off. You feel me? I'm like. Yo, she gonna be something, you feel me? And nonetheless, like two years later, she's rapping on Smack, you feel me, on stage. I'm like, that's crazy, that's crazy. Shout out to a fist, you feel me? You was actually there, like, in the in the audience, like yeah, yeah, I seen her. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I go to a lot of battles, so I'm a battle junkie, you feel me? You feel me? I'm a big fan. You know what I'm saying? So I've been going to battles since I was young, like 16, before I believe supposed to be in the building, you feel me? Like. <laughs> I might have, I'm in there like, I am in here with Arsenal. I ain't got no ID, but look, we in here. What's up? they yeah, like, y'all ain't gonna let the, the, the show in, you feel me? It's the main event. So, really, it's been love. I've been watching a lot of battles, but them shits be crazy, different vibe. Like, yeah. even the women. The women be a whole nother vibe, you feel me? It seems like they be more serious than men, you feel me? The men be serious on camera, but it's like the women be serious the whole time. Oh, like, they right. not playing. Fuck that bitch. Like, fights about to break yeah, out. They man. had to stop them. They like, not playing. They not playing. They're not playing. Shout out to the queen of the ring, man, for putting on, you feel me, pushing the culture. I got to get a battle girl out here, you feel me? I don't know what we going to get. Jazz, what's up, man? Official, what's up, man? I need somebody out here. Queen of the ring, man. Holla at me. Like sauce. <laughs> word up, word up. Would you battle? Yeah, I'll battle again. I had my first battle. You had a battle? Uh-huh. Stop playing. Who it's you Scott battle? Still. Um, it was like a couple of other local artists, but the girl I was battling was from Connecticut, and she was trying to say this her state. Yeah. So I was like, listen, let me, you know, let me break it to you, feel me? So, Word. And then, so it was like, once you won that round, you, the next round is acapella. Okay. So I was battling with a dude, and he started choking. Oh man, get like work, get him You know, I there. mean, not to buckle my own seatbelt around. <laughs> but, uh, it was fun. At least, you know, I'm glad. Like all the artists was great, amazing. But I'm glad I I'm glad I got that experience. And then Charlie Clips, he called me after, and he was yo. Like, so you talked to Charlie Clips? Mm-hmm. He felt like directly Facetime me. He was like, "Hey, I heard you got whooped in the battle," and I was like, "Nah, he saw that I won." Yeah, so like, yeah, that's yeah. love for real. Because you know, he know what it is. Yeah. So shout yeah. out my guy Charlie Clips. Shout out to Clips, man. That's my man. Yeah. Yeah. Cliff, man, get my girl a feature, man. What's up, man? She got them bars, man. Yeah, Let's see what's like, going on. He stayed, he stayed promising me he gonna get out here to AZ, and I'm like, okay, yeah. all right. He's like, so have them bars ready, so I'm just waiting. I just gotta make sure I got them bars ready. I don't know if he's trying to battle. I don't know if he's trying to make you right. gotta be ready. <laughs> you gotta be ready. You gotta show his spark. You gotta show his spark. Exactly. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. So you would do that, huh? If somebody wanted to battle, you would hop in the battle league? Yeah, I'll do the battle. I'll do the ciphers. Yeah. I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. Man, we're going to talk off camera, man. I'm going to try to put something together, man. I think I'm give me a little battle you fan out here in the Arizona, man. Yeah. Y'all yeah, like to see that? Who like to see that, man? Y'all fucking with that? I want to see a battle in Arizona. There's some other battle rappers in Arizona, man. Y'all see what's up, man. Holla at Jazzy, man. Holla at Share the South Podcast, man. We'll see what's going on. See if we put an event together, man. It's really light now. Don't act like I'm going to move some shit around and make this thing happen now. <laughs> but that's hard. That's hard. Appreciate it. Yeah, I had a good time. You know, it's always different when you're having fun. But it's, Word. And it's not. I'm struggling to find a battle. Like, what bar yeah, go? Yeah. Like, what line go? I'm like, no, nah, I'm just groove with it. And you knew it was coming? Like, how long you had to prepare? Um, We had, like, I don't, I don't know. It had to be a good, like, less than a week. Okay. And it wasn't even like we had to perform too. So like there was like a performance round. Yeah. Second battle, they gonna throw you a beat. The third battle is acapella, so you just do whatever. You Word. go all in. Go and crazy. It was a competition. Whoever won the five hundred dollars and it was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely. You know, I paid my car off. So that's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's did hard. what I had to do. Like it felt good for me. You know. Shout out to you. Was crazy. That's hard. That's hard. Thank you. Thank you. So you working on the project? I am. Got a project finna drop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm hoping by the end of this year, mm-hmm. if not next year, we're gonna bring in 2022. Yeah. Illegally. You gonna drop it? Is it illegal? Yeah. Is it illegal? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna drop it illegally. I like illegally. that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it illegal? How'd you come up with the name? 
it was just riding. I was just falling. And it was a part of one of my songs, and it was a bar like, is it illegal? Never stand still. I'm not like the black people, you know? And Ooh. I was just like, all right, that's just going to be the, that's that's gonna gonna be the whole project. Is it illegal? Is because, it illegal? like, is it illegal that I'm doing this? Like, my bars, like, somebody said, this shit is illegal right here. <laughs> like, yeah, so. Yeah. That's just, that's how I came up with the name, like, in my phone. I got a, my notepad, of course, and I just got, like, album names. I got, like, Roaring Twenties, like, for when I turn 20. Yeah. So, like, for this whole next 10 years until I'm 30, it's going to be just So, you got crazy. projects ready. Like, just, yeah, just ready. Just on go. Roaring Twenties, like, how could you say so? Like, you know, you got to have, like, the love songs, the yeah. let's turn up songs. So, it's just all different. But is it illegal? We definitely got to get that out. So. Got to get that out. Mm-hmm. What's the, um, what's the single off that jump? Frozen. So that's going to be the intro. Frozen? Mm-hmm. All right. All that's right. going to be the intro. Frozen, like Elsa Frozen, that's where you got, is that where you got the thing from? Or you just was like, you just too cold, like you icy out here? You know, I'm going to let, I'm going to let people interpret it how they want to. But Frozen was the name of the beat. Okay. But okay. And I was like, it sound kind of like, you know, icy. So I'm like, we just gonna go with Frozen. <laughs> Frozen by Jazzy J, and that's just what it is. So Word. that's the intro. Mm-hmm. How long you been Jazzy J? How you came with that name? So I was actually Lil Jazz. Lil Jazz. Then I became Jazzy Jazz. And I was like, nah, that's too juvenile. That's too juvenile. <laughs> Stop playing with me. I level up. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, I'm sitting up here like 14, 15. Like, nah, that's too juvenile. Okay, okay. Then I became Jazzy J. Maybe y'all say like, yeah, 14, 15, 16, I don't know. Jazzy J. My name has changed. That's what a lot of people don't know. Like, my name has changed throughout the years because all these artists, like, when you look up a song on Spotify, YouTube, and you say, Take your name. Yeah, it's like you see that name already. So then that's when I changed the spelling to, like, J-A-Z-C because that's not, that just, you know, it looked kind of crazy to me. So yeah. I'm still trying to market Jazzy J, but yeah. when you hear Jazzy J, you think Jazzy Jeff. For sure. Man. But that hard too, like you paying homage to hip hop, you feel me? I know right. a lot of old heads gonna fuck with that. Like, okay, right. who, who this is? He young with a snapper, you feel me? Like, coming in here, you <laughs> feel me? Yeah. Then you got the bars of all that ass, you feel me? That's gonna make them, you feel me? Lighty, light up, you feel me? I heard your shit, I was like, oh, bro, she going crazy. T brought me shit, I'm like, oh man, we gotta get her up here. Yeah. Like, hit her up today, you feel me? Like, yeah, that's crazy. Because we leaving tomorrow. What? Vegas. Oh, y'all going to Vegas? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I appreciate, like, that, like, just people showing me love, appreciation for what I'm doing, like, that really just touches me a different type of way, for real, for real. So I appreciate that. I appreciate y'all, you know, Death bringing love. me out here. Love. Absolutely. So who is Jazzy J as an artist? Jazzy J as an artist is just a loving, sure. just, you know, help the community, like, Help my city out, help the world. Um, Jazzy J is an artist, just bars. For sure. Bars to do that. So. Yeah. So I gotta say that. I like your vibe. I'm not gonna lie. You've been late since you came. You smiled since you came in the door. You feel me? God been here laughing and joking during the sale. So you feel me? I definitely feel the vibe. You know what I'm saying? I see people like to be one of the You know what I'm saying? And you hear it in the music, to be honest, for sure. For sure. That's good. That's yeah. good that you can hear that. You know that. You know, whatever I'm going through behind the scenes, I don't want to ever put that on anybody else. But it, I'm just being me. I just got to be me. When I'm sitting here, I got to be me doing my music. But, of course, y'all was very, like, welcoming. And, yeah. You know, because at first I was like, oh. Yeah, man, share the solos, man. You got to pull up, man. <laughs> you got nice facilities. We out here, you feel me? Yeah. Yes, sir. It is a nice, nice, very nice. I'm going to have to hop in that studio. Oh, uh, you got to hop in that booth, man. You mm-hmm. feel me? Turn the sun on, you feel me? We gonna light up the clouds, you feel me? You don't know, you gotta be in here, you don't know, you feel me? But we lit, though, you feel me? Absolutely. That's lit, that's lit. So now that we got all the nice shit out the way, it's time for the real questions, it's time for the nitty gritty. Top four artists, period. Dead or alive. Okay. Male and female. Male and female, there's no gender on this artist. Y'all know Tupac is number one. Okay, now Pop, hit him up. Hit him up. That's my favorite song, actually. My number one. Okay, so I ain't gonna fuck with him. He was so grimy and just, nigga, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Like, I love it. So just, you know, on there. Um, 
he ain't had to do my nigga big like that though. But you know, I thought with it. it was one of my favorite songs too. But. Yeah, they both amazing artists. <laughs> they, they beef or whatever. Yeah, it's part of hip hop though. I love it. I feel like that shit carved out here, but like, it's tragic, but I feel like everything ain't meant to happen. Like, shit just meant to happen, supposed to happen good, bad, and different. That's how I feel right. about it. It yeah. went how it was supposed yeah, to Yeah, it went how opposed to. Like, them niggas cut they fucking, you know what I'm saying? They cut they face him out worse more. You feel me? Sing the right. anime, despite the beat. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Put on for a coat, so you feel me? You can't. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, what more do you want? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You feel me? So, like, that's crazy. So yeah, definitely two. So pop, we got three, three more. We got three more. See now it's dwindling down to three. I had like, what y'all say, three girls, three boys last time. I had six. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had to cut it down because you named just six too quick. I said like, hell no, nah, we got to put some pressure on these questions. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I'm gonna say Chica right now. She doing her thing. Okay. Yeah, you know, goddamn, I got Balenci's in the bathroom. Balenci's in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Goddamn, I got Balenci's in the bathroom. I fuck with Chica, bro. She went crazy on that motherfucker. Like, when that shit first dropped, I played that shit like 17 times. Like, no cap. For like Man. two days, I was right. Balenci's in the bathroom. Now, I don't own no Balenci's at all, but she went <laughs> crazy. Like, that was the type of album, the newer albums that For I sure. remember where I was. What I was doing, yeah. who I was with while I was listening to it. Yeah, I, mean, I was by myself, but I was still listening yeah, to it. Yeah, for sure. Like, this shit hard. Like, nah. that shit gas. Because yeah. I like hearing other artists that are more so, like, lyrical, like I am. So it's like, it brought, um, what's that word? Like, familiarity. For sure. So, definitely Chica. Let's see who else we got in the building. Who else we got in the game? Um, I would say Meek Mill, but I feel like I said that. Me hard. Me is hard. I fuck with me. I don't want me. If you gotta say like new age rappers, like you gotta be in your top five. I feel like you had to cut it off. Little baby. I'm fucking with baby. Baby going crazy. Rilo Rodriguez, little dirty. I fuck with Rilo too. Rilo be going crazy too. I don't need just. I fuck all. I fuck a lot of underground hip hop though. You feel me? Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That really what I'm probably listening to most of the time. You know right. what I'm saying? I feel like the other niggas be getting more top spots because they got out more music, but you who knows, like, I feel give baby six years, this nigga might be Drake, you know what I'm saying? Like, he said he did say <coughs> he was going to be a legend before 40. For sure. And one of his songs, but it's in, um, he from Atlanta, right? Yeah, baby from Atlanta. Yeah. He's cool he, he go crazy. <laughs> um, it just keep coming in my mind, like, I go crazy, because I, I got that on the track right now, so I'm like, I go crazy. Shout out to folk PF yeah, and all them boys, bro. Don't need to be showing me love for real, for real. The city real close, so you feel me? You always gonna bump into somebody that knows somebody. You feel me? No cap. Word. So, shut up. Yeah, out here. It's... So, what we had? What we had? We, what, what, what we had? Chica and Pop. Yeah, Pop, Chica. We gonna go with Lil Baby. Cause baby. I need a feature from him for sure. <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna keep saying it to Hey, it manifest that thing. Absolutely. Really That's what I'm talking through. about. Um, I'm gonna do another girl because we got two guys on it. Turn the heat up, you feel me? Right. Lost in the sauce. I'm getting lost in the sauce. Hey. And I'm getting sick of him. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you good. I'm, <laughs> I'm over here like, I'm I'm I feel it. <laughs> um, give me good questions. That's what it really would be. This for them. This for them. It's mm-hmm. not for me. Right. It's for them. Yeah. Who did I say? Oh, I was talking about Cayenne. Cayenne. Cayenne is step step. She is step. Cayenne. Now, I love you, the you brand. You play me some shot of shit, though. She can be going crazy. Some? Some of that Cayenne. You play me some Instagram shit. That oh, shit can yeah. be going crazy. I ain't gonna hold it. She. She was spitting her ass off. Niggas gonna be her in the car like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, if I can do that to your music, it is for this. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, for sure. For sure. That hard. So, if you can get three features from anybody in the game, three different artists, you can get three artists. The feature on your next album, not not this album, cause illegal. You feel me? Right, we come. Like, that shit wrapped up. You yeah. feel me? We get that <laughs> shit ready. But this next album, so the album, album, right? The, the album, album. 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 Mm-hmm. Who you need? Who you need? Like I'm, I just signed you, and I got the bag. Okay. I, I got. I'm finna go grab. Who you need me to go grab? I need the game. 
Y'all ain't come here. West Side Connection. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta represent. You feel me? For the fam. I need Lauren Hill. Oh, come here, Lauren. We gonna feel nice and smooth and melodic. Just. And I'm gonna give you some bars so you're gonna get that old school swag. You're gonna have to come with it for Lauren. You ain't gonna. Yeah, I can't be no baby. Yeah, you can't be playing. You gotta be talking about something. Lauren ain't about. Can't come with no bubble gum shit, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, man, what you meant by this? Right? She might answer that. Or it could be me, Lauren, and Erica. Oh, mm. Erica. 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 Get a spiritual song. Hey, Ooh. no cap, man. I'm definitely, that gotta go crazy. Ain't not fooling with that no, one. No, but I do one of my favorite artists, period. Like, in my top three, you feel me? I be saying rappers could want to get musical. Shit get tricky, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But even in the trickiness, I feel like my dude got is my top three. Period. Mm -hmm. Period musically, you feel me? But that's just about me. We ain't talking about me. Oh my god. We talking about Miss Jazzy, you feel me? So I'm trying to see. Yeah. Alright, so so I'm gonna let you ride with Erica because you know what I'm saying? We're gonna stay I'm gonna give you two more because you know Erica is like, you feel me, go level. So I fold with that. So you got two more. You got the game. You wanna grab. We want to grab, we want to grab Lauren. You got two more. It was three, but I had a little bit more money in the budget. Ugh. Throw it on the table. <laughs> Who you want? You got two more. Oh, you already know little baby, so what I need Hey, more. come on, baby. A little baby, okay? West side, come on, for PFL. Connects, um, and definitely, um, what's his name? Hello, hello. If I can get, you know what? So I went to, like, this West Coast festival. Okay. Man, had the time good. of my life. I'm like, dang, if I can get Ice Cube, like Snoop Dogg, like all of them yeah, rocking with you me. You just go west, west. Man, like southwest, like southwest and okay, to west because this is like Arizona's considered southwest for sure. And then California west, of course, east. But yeah, all of them, all of them. You see a lot. Tap in with my guy, Young Guru, and share the salt. You start the freestyles. What you mean, how I start? So the covers. Oh. So man. I seen. That's what I seen. I was going. I was. I was scrolling through your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Just doing my research, going through your shit. Right. And you be killing the motherfucking covers. Like, how did that begin? Like, where did you start doing that? I was just listening to beats, and I just started making videos. For yeah. real, like, and at first it wasn't even videos. I was just rapping to myself, like, and I remember I was, like, 16, 17, going through, like, a mini breakup or whatever you want to call it. And I was just, like, I put on Goodbye by uh, Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I put that instrumental on, and I was just going. Never posted it, never did nothing with it. Um, but I just like how having the quick little one-minute videos give you that taste, like, that flavor of who I am for, right. that, short, like, that short amount of time. And then, okay, now I can get this project done. Because it's like, okay, I heard her. Get the, get the mental get juice. Get the ear, yeah. Up. Exactly. Nah, that's hard. That's hard. Thank you. Thank you. Word, word. So the project dropping December, maybe top of the year. Right? Mm-hmm. That's hard. Have you um you performed a couple of times? A lot of times. A lot of times? A lot of times, yeah. I think my last performance... If it wasn't Kaylin for real, for real, it was that battle rap. Yeah. Thus far. So they trying to get me out there in LA on the 13th. But we'll see. So I just got back from LA. So what's better? What do you like better? Recording in the studio and making a record? Or performing a record? Because mm, for like, me, like, it's recording. I feel like it's equal. It's equal. Cause usually when I'm in the booth, I don't have nobody in the booth with me. Uh -huh. It's just gotta be me and the person working on the song. Word. That way I can really get the feel for it, and yeah. I can freestyle. And if I mess up, I'm freestyling again. For sure. And I just love like, okay, all right, now it sound right. Like now it's there. Like now I got it out. Yeah. But when I'm performing, it's like now I can feel that energy. Now people can relate. Like yeah, now sure. they feeling me. So it's like I say it's equal. It's it feels the same. 50-50. yeah. Like recording and performing and marketing, everything. Everything is just fun. 
That's hard. That's hard. We gotta get you up here on the Kick the Shit podcast. We gotta get you to come up here and kick that shit one time. Absolutely. You feel me? Y'all don't know nothing about that. That's that new shit. You feel me? I'm gonna drop that shit on y'all later, but it's going crazy though. We already shot two of them and it's going crazy. We just gotta get this together. Get that artwork in, man. Kolo, what's up, man? Give me that artwork, man. My bad, I had to shout that nigga out. You know, when it's live, it feel personal. You feel me? Get it to your ASAP. Oh, we are live. We live, yeah. We gonna put this out, out. You feel me? Yeah. So, I don't know if you want... I don't, I'm gonna put this out here on the series. Now, I know you talking earlier. You just told me you had a recent, you know what I'm saying, passing in your family. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I just want to give my condolences, you know what I'm saying? Say thank you again for even coming out here. I couldn't even imagine, you feel me? I probably would have cleared everything off my little schedule, you feel Man, me? I appreciate that. And it's, it's kind of, it's been like that. So that's why I'm like, I've been slouchy. Like, yeah. I've just been laying, like, I remember when I was out there, I just, like, subconsciously, I pulled her picture close to me and I just laid, like, you know, yeah. by her picture. And, like, I've been slouchy and then, like, people I stay with it like you know but you can't do that like you gotta keep going and I know for a fact my cousin Jordan is her name I'm like I know for a fact she would want me to go harder because she was like okay like you went in on this like she will always joke with me about it and stuff like that so it's like I know she don't want nobody sad like this like I, that's what I know for a fact she's not the type to just mope around like every time you see her it's a big ass smile on her face like yeah. No matter what her attitude was, she stayed cheesing. Like I don't, I don't remember not one time I seen her like. You feel me? Damn. Yeah. So it's like, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm gonna pay her respects. Long live my cousin. Man, man, long live you, man. Long live Trey. One time. Jordan. Long, long live, live Jordan, man. So it's like I had to get up. I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it for her. So. So Jay, what we got next? Like, what, what's 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 next for Jay? Like in the career, you feel me? Is music, what we got dropping next? Musically, we gonna have this single, my intro dropping, Frozen. Okay. October 29th. Yeah. Okay. My okay. 21st. So yeah. that's all I want for my 21st birthday. Just hell 21st, you gonna drop the project. Yeah. yeah. We well, gonna, not the we, prize, you're going to drop, drop the single. Right, we're going to drop the single. We're going to drop the intro. Dropping the have, intro. Right, we're going to have visuals ready right after. We're going to have the visuals following, so. So look out. Right, right. So look out, be on the lookout for So where, where can they follow you at? Like, where can they find you at? Y'all can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at W-O-A-H Jazzy J. If you type W-O-A-H Jazzy J in YouTube, you won't find me there, too. My face is, like, the same everywhere, so. How you spell Jazzy J? J-A-Z-Z-Y-J. Okay. And then on flyers, you see the J A Z C, but Jazzy J is what it is. Facts. facts. <laughs> Jazzy J, Jazzy J. Jazz- Get it right, man. <laughs> Get it right. Jazzy J, yes, ma'am. Let me say this. Yeah. Spotify, that's what I'm like. I gotta change the spelling. Because you, I got songs on Spotify. Yeah. When you search up J A Z Z Y space J. Yeah. It's gonna be like, mm, like different artists, different artists, me, different artists, different artists. Yeah. Like, damn. It's a lot of Jazzy J. How though. many Jazzy J's it gotta be? That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, okay. J A Z Z. I don't see nobody on Spotify with. For sure. Ja- you feel me, Jazzy or like Apple Music or none of that. So. You can have more than one spell. Yeah. Yeah. Or have like little Jazzy J in the parentheses. Yeah. Like, Jazzy. I don't want it to look like too much. I don't want it to look too busy. It's only one of you. It's only one of you. So they're going to know for sure. You feel me? Or just completely change. Queen of the zone. Like, we'll We're going to figure it out. Right now it's Jazzy J. W O A H Jazzy J. Tell me. So before we get up out of here, I'm going to try to get you to do my fans a big favor. You know what I'm saying? This going to be the first official. Freestyle on the Shady Sauce podcast. Oh, okay. So you, it's like a heavy, you know what I'm saying? You slip putting on the crown, walking in the dough, you feel me? All right. 
know that one. And I know I dropped this on you, you feel me, like just a second ago, because you freestyled, but I don't know you're capable, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing my research, you feel me? I know you could go crazy. So if you don't mind, you gonna drop, you gonna give him something? Let's do it. You ain't gotta give him too much. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just show him something. Show him something. Like Put him on a little. Make it legendary. Show him a little sauce. <laughs> okay. A little sauce. A little sauce. One second. One, one, before we get into that, one more question. One more question. You got any advice? Because this is Share the Sauce podcast. You feel me? Okay. And we, I know you shared a lot of sauce giving us your journey and everything you went to. But you know what I'm saying? Coming from your perspective, you got any advice for like the up and coming? Rapper, artist, just upcoming in artists in general, you know what I'm saying? Any, yeah, like at my young age, all I could really tell them is you keep going, like you feel me, like don't let anybody. I was in a relationship, like a toxic, like help me, like help me back type relationship for two years. Word. And I now, one day that I say, All right, I'm just gonna throw this all away for this person yeah. because that's not what it's about, like, keep grinding keep going like i know that sounds everybody says that like everybody says the same thing keep going but it's really true like you have to find what works best for you um like if if it's writing if it's going on a jog if it's me in arizona so like if you in california or somewhere by the beach go to the beach because <laughs> i'll be i'll be at the beach when i need you know a yeah. peace of mind but like write it out box it out write it out do what you got to do about it but do not stop your grind Keep up your archives. Keep up your originality, yeah. your authenticity, because mm. it can only be one you in this world, and you can't be nobody else. So why would you want to be anybody else? Do that shit. That's what sauce right there. She just dropped a whole lot of sauce on y'all. You feel me? <laughs> a whole lot of sauce. Hey man, write it out, man. Hey, if you my friend, you know me personally. I tell everybody that, man. Write that thing down. Write that thing down, boy, I swear. So much shit come after writing it down, but we sitting this on my route right now. You feel me? I wrote this shit. We sitting in this motherfucker. You feel me? For real. If you're making it so much really. But without further ado, my dog, Miss Jazzy J. Let's give him some. Yeah, little baby. You say it's my baby. Come on. Can they give him that baby? Okay. Okay. Look, it's crazy we had to adapt to a world where we can't even speak with the mask off. But if you look closely, it's been people we know and baby, they been had a mask on. Cause they fraudulent. How much time you need to figure out they're not the ones you rockin' with? I was solid then, and I'm solid now. But think about all of my accomplishments. I'm social distancing. Man, these niggas can't touch me, I can't get sick. I was sick way before the pandemic hit. I was sick way before they discovered it. Now my money long and I'm in love with it. Had to come up for rare, I was flooding in it. Put my foot on the gas, ain't no brakes in this. I was patient and I had to wait for this. Man, I pray for this. I am a champion. And my Nike fit, I was allergic to broke environments. I had to get out real fast to the dash on their ass. Now they mad cause the way that my pockets sit. I'm so ambiguous. You can say that I changed, but I'm just too involved in evolving shit. They love the way I am, they love what I do. Cause I build up their confidence. You watch the news, go to my old school. And then that's what the topic is. Cause I put a D on the map. I feel a D with them rap. I'm on a whole different way. Share the sauce. Share the sauce. Share the sauce.